All right, this is Jim Crashers. We're at Six Blades in San Pedro. I've got Victor Hugo here live tonight. How are you, sir? Doing great, you know? Doing what I love, traveling the world, meeting my friends, making new friends, you know? It's the, uh, living the life, it's awesome. You're bringing it, man, I love that. Born in Fortaleza. Yeah, I was born in Fortaleza, Brazil, Northeast, and been living here in the U.S. for five years now. Five years. Majority of that time in San Diego? Yes, most of the time. I left San Diego six months ago, but can't stay too far for too long. Yeah. Came back today to visit the friends and some stuff. Very nice. Your heart is here, of course. Yeah, 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 for sure. A lot. And the level of game that you teach. Now, you're a world-class competitor, we all know. IBJJF, PANS, European, mm -hmm. you know, all these different world champions. Yes. Um, the level of competition that you bring and then you teach in your seminars and the schools that you bring that to, it's amazing. And it, what keeps you motivated to, to keep at that level and keep growing? Yeah, one of the things that makes me motivated is like be able to explore, create new things, you know, because I think Jiu Jitsu is almost like infinity, you know? It doesn't end. Uh, every year somebody creates something new and maybe I'm not creating something new, but I'm creating my own variations, my own setup. So I think that's like amazing. And one of the things that I always like try to work on is like how I'm gonna translate it for a person that is not proficient. And they don't, don't have as much, they don't as much athletic as I am, or as much as possible, but still can do this. So the work of like break it down and grab, make it simple is like one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that I've been doing lately, you know, I have some instructionals out there and I've been dedicating, dedicating a lot of time teaching. So I think that's one of the things that give me a lot of pleasure. Of course, I love to fight. It's on me if I had, if like, I've been, I think it's been like four months that I haven't fought. So I'm already like, man, I need to fight, I need to fight. But teaching also is a passion of mine. You know? Yeah, you give back so much. In this year with the pandemic, you were able to compete still. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Keep active. Yes, yes, yes. Gladly. Uh, at the beginning, I started I started off pretty good. I fought two guys, uh, and they both they were both were like specialists in the area. Like one one is very known for fighting no gi, mm -hmm. and the other one is very known for fighting gi. And I fought both of them with like a week of difference. So a lot of people, they only fight one. Sure. And I took the challenge, you know, I was like, man, I'm gonna go for both and I'm gonna win both, you know? I put I put out the risk. If I have lost, it's fine, but I won, you know? I went there, uh, I show like how efficient I can be in both ways. And that's Jiu Jitsu, man. For me, overall, that's Jiu Jitsu. That's what I train with like, my senses. They're complete martial artists. So mm -hmm. they do Jiu Jitsu, they strike and they have like, train everything and that's how I'm trying to put in your jitsu, you know, bring it like the fishes in the all ways, you know. Yeah. And you pay attention to both top and bottom. You're going heavy on top for things like chokes, the arms, but then transition very quickly yeah. for legs and knees, it looks like. Yeah, because I think what the, what one of the most scariest things for you is like to combat, to fight against is something unpredictable. If you don't know what's gonna happen, how can you prepare yourself? You mm -hmm. know? That's the mentality that I have for myself whenever I'm getting ready. I want to create as much as dangerous as possible in any area. Standing up, take it down on top and bottom. So I don't want to. I, I want to make my opponent uncomfortable. And from that, uh, I, I always something new is coming up. So there's always something to get better at. So oh, maybe my pass is not that good. So I try to work on my pass. And then my pass is good. Okay, let's work some leg locks. And then I start to work my leg locks. Or oh, maybe I can get better at this. So it's, it's always something new, something to improve, you know? And the fun of it is like, most of the time I'm able to apply that on a fight. Whenever I fight, I just want to test my new techniques, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure, I like to, to win. So that's what, that, that, that has something to do with street strategy, you know? But all, all the strategies that work at the academy, whenever I'm building up the game plan, filling up all the mistakes and the gaps, and that's the fun of it, you know? Like, yeah. become invincible. <laughs> Absolutely, no, I see you. You work inverted, you work 50-50, you work in Minari, mm -hmm. you're setting up each position, and most importantly, your entries. Yes. Once the entry is set, and then the submission presents itself. Yeah, and I think, it, as you like pay attention now, I, I, I see how entertainment is. Mm -hmm. If I was here playing the big guy, just like on top, smashing everyone, Maybe just stalling, that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't be as fun, you know? And I think one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest duties for us today is, it, today is bring the Jiu-Jitsu for the bigger, bigger platform, you sure. know? Spread as much as possible. And for that, gotta be entertainment. So it has to be fun, it has to be cool to watch. Of course, you don't need to go crazy, but as you are efficient, efficient and the people see the art going through, the submission, 
try. I think that's what brought, bring more, brings more attention. It's the fun of it, it's the art, you know? Uh, people walk in and see you, a big guy like me doing some crazy stuff, they're gonna be like, oh, I wanna learn that too, you know? So it's to spread the Jiu Jitsu worldwide. That's I like that, very nice. So now you're in Oklahoma? Yeah, I'm moving, I'm all around. Transition, you know? transitioning, yeah, Oklahoma, okay. Oklahoma, Austin, I'm I like in Austin. Like between Oklahoma and Austin, but I'm moving permanently to Austin this month. Very nice, there's a lot of Jiu Jitsu there. Yeah, a lot of Jiu Jitsu. Onit Academy, 10P, Ibero is gonna be there with you, yeah. so that's gonna be awesome. Yes. They yes. need that. I'm excited for that. That's I'm a great excited. place. Yeah, it looks like a big city, it's been growing up, there's a lot of Jiu Jitsu there. Uh, excited to make new connections there. And yeah. it's gonna be a new city. I have a lot of friends in San Diego. And for sure, I'll be making a lot of friends there. I know the community of Jiu-Jitsu is big. And everybody is so welcome, you know? Sure. Uh, great vibes. Absolutely. What can we expect from you in the future? You got a tournament or anything in mind coming up soon? I have a fight coming up on March 20 against Gene Spriggs. I think that's gonna be a good start of the year. He's a Nogi World Champion, has, was one of the, the best Americans who have ever done it. You know, like he's been competing for a long time. a very experienced black belt. It's gonna be my first match of the year, you know? Beautiful. Uh, going right against our world champion, and it's gonna be fun. And from that up, you know? Uh, just seeking for bigger challenges, bigger challenges, but of course you gotta wait the pace, see the pace, step by step, we're gonna get there. But my goal is to give it to the fans what they wanna watch, what they wanna see. But slowly get it there, you know? I, I, was, I fight the team now, uh, doesn't matter the result, I'm gonna go over the my next fight, but mostly now my beginning of the year now, even like, I think into July I'm gonna mo do mostly nogi, you know. I uh, have been the I'm the current world champion, absolute nogi by FGF, and I wanna now get back in the pace. Maybe they'll they'll have a world nogi this year, and I wanna be there, you know, defend awesome. my title. Yeah, for absolute. I can't wait to see that. That would be an incredible thing to see. So Victor, I'm curious. The top three competitors in the world right now that you would like to position yourself against. Yeah. Well, very respectfully against the top, the top three, you know, like if you look at the ranks now, you see the top power from power. I'm for sure aiming for that, for, for to fight that guy. And the, the top, the top on my, on my division, though, I want to be facing him too. I don't, I just don't want to say names, but sure. whoever is on top, that's when I aim, you know, like yeah. last year I was able to get the number one power from power uh, rank at Flow Grappling. Mm -hmm. I know we didn't have that much competition, but I, I did my job. I was there. If uh, whoever whoever I face it show up, and I won, so this year I'm gonna work to do that mostly in no gi. I know it's gonna be more complicated. Why? Because I mostly do gi. So I'm gonna start slow, as I said, and my goal is the top. You know, uh, for sure the guys who are on top, they've been they've been like having like really good fights. They've been good really result, really good results. So I'm working my pace to get there, and then later on start to face that. You know, but my goal is. Start now, the work for the next ADCC, you know, I think it's a long road into the ADCC, you have like a year and a half ahead, but yeah. that means I have a lot of time to work on, you mm -hmm. know, and since you, the ADCC got postponed, I think that opens up uh, space for a lot of super fights, so I'll be working with like the promotions, mm -hmm. what, whatever seems interesting to me for being on it, I'll be on it, uh, I've been dealing with some injuries lately, lately so I'm taking my time, you know, listening to my body, working slowly, I don't have to rush, and little by little I'll get there, you know, we'll be fighting the top ranks, because that's my goal, that's what I do since Purple Belt, I've always fought Absolute, and that's my goal, always the top, I'm always seeking for the top. I might be not, not so much out there now this year, I've been waiting, but as soon as I start, man, I'm not gonna stop, just, just like last year. Incredible, man, I look forward to seeing that, thank you so much. Yeah. Victor Hugo, and thank you Six Blades for having us here tonight. It's a yeah. pleasure, man. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching it, and I see you guys soon. Thank you. Lewis. Lewis, brother.